He holds. Yeah, thankfully, uh, almost done with his freakishly long walkway. I guess this might be... Is that parapet? Or is that... I, I think that's the tower part. I'm trying to remember the parts of a, a castle. Your flying buttresses and your portcullises. But we got uh, we got one more ladder-based secret for this particular walkway, portcullis, flying buttress, archipelago, and it's uh, it's down here. It's actually it's it's not a large secret. It's just really out of the way. Actually, put a few zombies in your way. Did they scare you? They give you this pretty long corridor. It's actually quite... Th this isn't even like the longest secret that's going to be for a different video. It's just this particular one is just kind of a drawn out hallway leading to circular room basically. But, you know, I don't mind a few extra zombies to pummel. Yeah, up these uh, up these stairs is going to be the next secret, which is it's a pretty good secret. There's quite a bit in here. There's uh, some ammo and another vampire artifact, which is always appreciated, and a nice vantage of where we've previously been across the fiery, wreckaged battle strewn area. Battle strewn. That makes sense. Oh, wreckage strewn. I, I get, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and make our way back to the level proper. With one zombie I somehow missed. But yeah, uh, thankfully in the next level we'll actually be getting really up close and personal with our good necromancer friend Zimmerman. And it, uh, it'll be interesting and maybe kind of, uh, I don't want to say a throwback or an homage to some of the bosses in Painkiller, but it's very representative of what you would expect a boss in Painkiller to be. But we gotta find a way to open this gate for right now. First just gonna take out a few of these enemies and... There's a glowing red box. I guess secretly Simon does have a spidey sense, and he can sense where the necessary objectives are. Really cumbersome doors. Oh, that was beautiful. Blew up that barrel right in his fucking face. And this guy, thankfully, goes doesn't get bogged out like the other one did, so... He's a lot easier to take down. I don't know what was happening with that other guy, it's just... Melee wasn't connecting or something, it's really hard to say. God, I'm a jerk. It's just the more I think about it, the more this Simon guy is just a complete fucking asshole. And up here we have oh shit. Insanity. Pure insanity. Insanity. Yeah, we actually uh get a normal fight with this guy instead of him getting lashed up onto some you know, architecture. And he is a major pain in the ass to fight nice. anytime. But I'm still standing. He will I think it'll take him about five direct hits to kill you. So you really do have to just kind of juke him around architecture. Because you are not going to outrun him on foot. But I make short word of work of him, and he shits out some orbs for me. And those, uh, those yellow orbs are actually for adrenaline. 
So you, you do have a means to uh, refill your adrenaline without having to kill people. But the yellow orbs really aren't as frequent as the red orbs. But yeah, he is now, he's been taken care of, and that allows us to continue further into the stronghold, making our way to hopefully his Zimmerman. Come on, boys, one at a time. I mean, let's be reasonable. Yeah, Simon's only one man. He can only take one man at a time. I don't know about those orgies of blood all you Bosch crowds are into, but Simon's a one-man kind of guy, you know? But yeah, we got a uh, locked door there. All these uh, zombies are actually pretty particular about their security. They like locked doors and leaving plenty of weaponry around for us. And out here on this balcony is a another awesome secret. They really want you to use that fucking gun, but I, I really just can't stand it. <laughs> But now we have uh, we have this door open, and what do we have? But a room full of more crowds. They seriously had a a good sized force just waiting in this blimp depot that has absolutely no blimps. But it does have plenty of people to shoot. Which is really what Simon's itching for. This game does have a very visceral and violent quality that's entertaining for a while. And it uh, it actually only gets better later on in the game whenever you uh, whenever we get a new item. Which I'm sure we're all very excited to be seeing soon enough. But right now we're in the stronghold and we're continuing on through the stronghold. Which thankfully is, uh, it's close to being over. We're actually kind of running down with uh, things going on in the level. It's actually gotten pretty quiet. That last push was, uh, was a bit under dramatic, I'd say. What? How did I miss someone? Where were you? Well, now you're gonna be blown up because you're a jerk. Is that all you got? No. Ah, it's so beautiful. But yeah, uh, let's open this gate. Heading further into the bowels of Bloodtown and Jibville. Becoming like the Flash. Just mowing down guys. Shooting our chain lightning and... God damn, I hate faces. Just gotta blow them up. I really wish these guys would understand, like... Yeah, I might be pretty friendly if they just came up and said hi, or... Guten Abend, or anything. But they just want to come up and shoot me, and that's just really jerkish. So, in turn, I have to be an even massive asshole. And blow them to hell. But I think they were just undead in that room, so, whatever. And here we have the storage area full of boxes. Now, you would assume that this particular room would be a good place to hide a secret or something, but no, there's just a bunch of boxes. And zombies. You can jump on top of the boxes, and maybe if you so desired, you could probably get through this entire room without actually fighting anything, but... I don't know why you would. This is no time to find yourself lost. And here uh, we've gotten into the MC Escher portion of the stronghold with its 
really unnecessary staircases. And me getting lost again. But, uh, it's, it's really not that hard to navigate. I think I was just not paying attention, because it gets very repetitive. But we've actually almost reached the end of the level, and, uh, this is kind of a familiar room in here. I think this is where a lot of the challenges take place. And there's a dead thing. And Iron Man. Wow, what is that thing? Some kind of walking tank? I sure would like to take this baby for a spin. But how do I get it started? Activate the mechanical guardian. Hmm. Well, none of these really seem to be working. What's in here? Hmm. Something behind, glowing behind that gate there. I need to get the gate open first. I, uh, I get a bit confused because I know there's a way to, uh, to actually activate that, uh, huge enemy in the center there without activating the robot first. I did that before and it was a pain in the ass to kill that thing. But we've, uh, opened it. My name is Private Hans Fisher of the 6th Division, Central Powers. Saying this in case I don't make it. <laughs> I'm scared. I've never worked with electrical cans with this kind of power. And I feel when it strikes, it's going to kill anybody who's in this room. Zimmerman left written instructions. They say that these huge crystals are needed to start the machine. But I think he's in a trap. So I've moved all the crystals into the next room in case they interfere with the lightning charges. Know this. Zimmerman has betrayed us and God He's discovered a new war machine. I've got no idea where from, but it works very differently to the one we've got here. They tell us it's magic, and yesterday I wouldn't have believed it. But today I'm starting to think anything's possible. They say it's ten times bigger than any war machine ever used before. So, headquarters is in a panic, with General Schroeder preparing an offensive on Zimmerman's latest hideout. But because of my experience with electricity, I've been ordered to try to launch this weird crouching tank. I've had to wait until the promised storm actually hits us, because these generators take their charges from the lightning. If anybody hears this, there are now only a few minutes before we start, with a rotting body stinking like hell on the altar. But they've told us we've got to keep it here to check on the side effects of what we're going to do with this ancient tank. And now, the storm's overhead. Can you hear it? I'm going to try it without the crystals first. Any minute now, I'm going to pull the lever. I don't want to. I really don't, but I've got no choice. It's this was the firing squad. Oh, God. I'm on my knees. For my family's sake. Dear Father, I beg you to let me keep my miserable life. Please, show me your mercy today. Well, I guess it wasn't God's day for mercy. So, to start the machine, I need that crystal. Got it! Alright, so it looks like Zimmerman has actually gotten the hell out of here to go for a much larger battle machine. But since he's gone and they left this here, I, I figure why not uh, why not take it? Can't believe I'm actually doing this. I pulled a switch. So it turns on the uh, the mechanical guardian. The only problem is it also wakes up our large buddy. Thankfully, we got. Uh, oh yeah. Armed and dangerous. Thankfully, we got this walking battle tank here. Just completely rips that guy a new asshole. Walking battle tank is—it's uh, fun. It's kind of cumbersome to use and aim, but it. Has